For no monkey business this time, eh? Heard about your shenanigans? Mm, scout's on it. You were never a scout. I was an honorary member. <laughs> Just play fair, eh? Fire's coming to look round at four. So what's the plan? I haven't got a plan. I thought we were going to buy the pub. I'm not made of money. I mean, I could get a mortgage, but I, I'm going to struggle to raise a decent deposit. Then let me help. Well, I can get a loan to cover the deposit and then we can be partners. Well, I don't think it's that easy to get a loan. Well, of course it is. I'm doing great with Double Glammy and I happen to know that my bank manager was in the Scouts. <laughs> dib dib. <sighs> oh, I'm thinking powerful, thrusting young businesswoman just reeking of wild animal sexuality. You've got a meeting with the bank manager to apply for a loan. Exactly. Well, I'm not sure you've been needing wild animal sexuality. Do you not watch The Apprentice or Dragon's Den? I don't, no. Well, I do. And I know when you walk into a room, you need to own it. Do you know, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. What? Me getting a loan or us buying the pub together? I just don't want you getting into debt to bail me out. The loan is no problem. Well, you should see the profit I'm making from a double glammy clients. I'm making a killing. A small killing, but more than enough to take on this loan. If they agree to it. Do you really think there's any doubt? I mean... No, I don't. You look amazing. <laughs> Go out there and kill them. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. Oh, the deal is done. Mm. Hold on. <sighs> it's delicious. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Well, maybe I'm more than fine. Yes, 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 yes. You're the best. I'm the best. She shoots. She scores. Did the meeting go well, then? I smashed it. We have a deposit. Oh. <laughs> I own a pub. <laughs> I own a pub. I own a pub. I own a... Mm, we own a pub. We own a pub. Are, 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 you, are you sure about this? My double gummy profits will pay off this loan in next to no time. We're sorted. <sighs> Now I need a bottle of something ridiculously expensive. Oh. Bubbles. Oh. I take it congratulations are in order. Well, it did seem that way. <laughs> you know, I'm still here, ready to invest if you need. Yeah, I, I know you mean well, but um, I've got a new partner now. And I own a pub! I own a pub! Aye, aye. Oh, hello. Well, I got your text. What's this meeting about? I've resigned from Double Glammy. Oh. And that affects me how? Because I've also refunded all of our recruits and I've told Daniel about it and he's writing an article in the paper exposing it for the scam that it is. You, you can't do that. I already did. That's my business. I mean, it is, but it's also a con and it's ruining people's lives. Well, I need that con. And I need that money. So, this is where you're hiding. I'm not hiding. But you're a difficult man to find. Not if you know where to look. Well, I've already tried your flat, your dad's house, the car. You must want something really important. It's a matter of life and death. Are you serious? Not literally, no. But I have spoken to Sean. Oh. Mm. And he tells me that you're working on an article for the local paper that might be a little... Critical of the double glammy business model. I wouldn't say it was critical. Oh? No. More like condemning, denouncing, revealing it to be an evil, exploitative system that destroys people's lives. I am part of that system. I know you are. <laughs> well, may I dare to suggest that your perspective might be a little bit biased? I've done my research. Oh? Have you spoken to someone who was able to make a success of the system? Maybe someone who actually depends on the income she earns from the system. Someone like you. Exactly like me. <sighs> OK. Why don't you tell me just how Double Glammy has revolutionised your life? Don't patronise me. Sorry. You have to realise, loads of people make good money from this business. Money they need to pay their rent, their bills, put food on the table. Many of them just like you. 
Single parents who can't work the normal nine to five thing. Double glammy offers them financial independence and a genuine sense of self-worth. And a one-sided knocking article from you, it could jeopardize their self-esteem, their mental health, and most importantly, their income. You make some interesting points. I'm glad you can see that. But every success is built on the back of those whose lives have been ruined. I spoke to one woman who came this close to taking her own life. And that upsets me just as much as you. I'm glad that you can see that. I think we can both agree there are clearly two sides to this story, so can I ask you to please hold off from writing it till you've done some more research? You may even find there's no need to write it at all. Well, I would, but... But? It's too late. How can it be too late? I sent it off. Got an email back telling me it was going to be in the online edition. About now, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, there it is. Or you can wait to the morning and read it in the Gazette. Account's been suspended. Well, unsuspend it. You know, I, I'm nothing to do with Sean Tully. It was one silly article in a local paper. It... Hello? Hello? <sighs> Me and you, the Weatherfield Dream Team. <laughs> All done. You mean it's, um, it's already sorted? Oh, yeah. Mortgages in place, papers drawn up. Nothing can stop us now. A smile would be nice. Do you know, none of this would have been possible without you. I'll, uh, leave you to celebrate. And not only this, but Rita's seen off Sharon without handing over a single penny. You know, this is the best day I have had in a very long time. Oh!